Well, welcome back. It's an experience most of us will never know. Playing in a Super Bowl, let alone winning the game. Yeah, one man here in the Valley knows exactly how that feels. Ty Brennan caught up with the Super Bowl champion. And hey, Ty, what's going on, buddy? Good morning, you guys. Yeah, this story is pretty cool. We caught up with Evan Mathis. He's uh, now retired, but he's played for six NFL teams, most recently here with the Cardinals. But last year, he was playing with the Denver Broncos when they took it all the way to the Super Bowl. So we talked to him about what it's actually like leading up to the game, playing in the game, and then those moments right after. The 50th Super Bowl commences. <laughs> It was everything I ever imagined it would be. Evan Mathis recounts what it was like to be at the Super Bowl last year when he and his Denver Broncos teammates beat the Carolina Panthers 24 to 10. And he's in the end zone for the touchdown. The Super Bowl week, everything that led up to that, you know, obviously it's it's one of the biggest weeks of my life. Um, it's, it's a dream unfolding right in front of your eyes. Mathis has made Arizona home since 2005. We caught up with the former offensive lineman at the gym he owns, Zone Athletic Performance in Scottsdale. With today being the Super Bowl, Mathis can't help but reflect back on where he was a year ago. Everything you've worked for is on the line right here. You have a chance to, to you know, bring home the Super Bowl trophy, to get a Super Bowl ring, and, and, and to make all your dreams come true, make the things that you, you wanted as a kid happen. <laughs> So there's a lot of pressure that week leading up to the game. There's a lot of uh, you know, extra hype surrounding everything. And, and one of the main things everybody has to do is you have to focus in and go about your preparation just like a normal week and, and ignore everything that's going on because you have a really big game coming up. Run it, Anderson. He fights for it on second effort. It was absolutely electric uh, stepping out there. The crowd was insane. Uh, the lights seemed like they were shining brighter. Uh, you know that there's millions and millions and millions of people watching. What a chance! What a chance! Woo. All right, what a chance, baby! And when they won, Mathis says it was pandemonium. That feeling was crazy. I had my, I had one of my teammates uh, on the sideline had my GoPro, so I got that from him, and we walked, we start walking on the field. Everybody's just going crazy, screaming. I have my GoPro filming because I know I'm not going to remember any of this because it was just, it was just so much happening at one time. Of course, for all players, the Super Bowl ring is highly coveted, but don't expect to see Mathis wearing it out and about if you bump into him around town. They're really, really cool, but they're very gaudy and they're huge. <laughs> so. <clears throat> There's a time and a place that I choose to wear it. I don't really wear it that often. Nonetheless, an amazing keepsake for an amazing career. It was absolutely a dream come true. Surreal is the word I always use to describe it because it truly was, it was, truly was surreal. Um, it's something I'll never forget and I'll always cherish. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. And the thing that I found that was really interesting in talking to him is when we watch these guys out there on the field, I mean, they're they're pure athletes, but there's a lot that goes into this that's mental, getting them to kind of block out everything that's happened. He was talking about uh, media night, which happens, I think, one or two days before the big game, and they're getting barraged with all sorts of crazy questions from us, the reporters. Then they kind of have to clear their minds and get ready to go out there on the field and kick some butt. So it's pretty cool to hear it uh, from his mouth, how it all went down. Right. Being able to block out all that hype and you have the two weeks off, which is unusual for those guys, right? You get that whole time and yeah. everybody's talking about you mm -hmm. and analyzing what's going on. Mm -hmm. well, that's a huge yep. ring too, Ty. And the, the, you know, his hands are huge. Giant, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's got to be huge for those uh, meaty hands he has. <laughs> no doubt. Yeah, meaty. That's a good way to describe yeah. it. Uh, thanks, <laughs> thanks Ty. Ty. Yeah, and if you ever shake those guys' hands, it's not like they're it's long from here to here. It's the, it's, it's the meat in it there. It wraps around. Yeah, and they've got like a big old, you know, porterhouse steak in the middle of their hand.